What is up, peeps? This is For The Win TCG, and I'd like to welcome you back to another YouTube video. Now, I know this one is a bit different, but just bear with me. It's quite interesting, to say the very least. So you're probably wondering, what exactly is the bug? Uh, well, I will get into that, but it's kind of a funny story as to the discovery of it. Um, by the way, I'm not going to claim that, you know, uh, me or, uh, well, Mark, who I'm going to bring up in a second, was the ones who discovered the bug. It's probably been discovered by a few other people, but I've not seen any videos on it so far. So I did want to make a video and just get it out there uh, whilst we can, um, just to try and get it fixed. But anyway, uh, the story behind it, uh, me and uh, Giraffe Nick Mark, um, who's an another great YouTuber, um, we was uh, playing. Ironically, we didn't actually plan to play each other. We were just on the versus ladder and came up against each other. Um, but we're playing each other, um, and um, he was playing Don Fan, um, and I was playing Greninja, which is what I'm working on for a video. And at the end of the game, I managed to uh, one hit KO his full HP Don Fan with an Articuno GX. I haven't got the footage, unfortunately, because I wasn't recording. Um, and uh, his Don Fan's ability did not activate. And uh, I realized that in the last moment, and he messaged me later on as well, going, um, why did that not activate? So it struck my curiosity as well. So I thought I'd take some time to look into it and see if there is a definitive bug. And unfortunately, there is. Um, the bug is as I will describe it now. So if you have a Pokemon like uh, Donphan and Heracross that has an ability that will leave it at 10 HP, if the ability is activated or if the conditions are met, should I say. So in Heracross, it's once it gets KO'd, flip a coin if head, you stay on 10 HP, you don't get KO'd. Dawn Fan is if it has full HP and it gets one shot, it will go down to 10 HP rather than getting KO'd. That is the, the so basically it's the 10 HP can, with an extra condition, right? Let's just describe it as that for now. So the weird bug that um, I actually discovered when recording, you'll see it here, is as soon as... I actually, let's say, I think I did it with Heracross first. As soon as my Heracross got knocked out and I hit heads, the opponent went down to 10 HP. That makes no sense at all. And that's that's what happened. I was a bit confused by that. I thought, huh. So I think I first discovered this against a Lost March deck. The jump bluff went down to 60 HP and I was like, okay. Not only that, the Heracross did actually get KO'd. So the Heracross didn't survive. So there's the, it, it's, it's a very weird flip where the ability doesn't target the Heracross. It targets the opponent's active Pokemon. And uh, because the ability is targeting the opponent's active Pokemon, the Heracross is therefore knocked out. So that's what the bug is, essentially. So I'm not sure exactly how, this, how far this bug goes and what Pokemon specifically are affected by this bug. For me, so far, I've figured out Donphan and Heracross, and uh, it doesn't actually come into play with the new Greninja in Detective Pikachu. Now, there are some other questions like there's a Skun Tank that has an attack with an effect. I haven't actually had the time to be able to explore that, so it may affect that. But I don't know if it's specifically on an ability that requires the condition to be met that leaves it at 10 HP or if it's an effect. So I'm not 100% sure just yet, but this is a technically just scratching the surface. It's a bit crazy, though, now that I think about it. Um, speaking of, I did do a live stream yesterday, um, or the day before, depends when this video goes up, um, looking into it and exploring this bug a bit more. And, um, yeah, it's it's definitely something that exists, and it's definitely something that is a problem. Um, and, uh, well, I'm going to show you some footage now of uh, what I was going through in order to test this and kind of figure out the deck. So uh, when I did play Mark, um, he mentioned that maybe what triggers the bug is damage to the bench, right? So, because uh, that's what happened in our game. So the first thing I did was build a deck um, that is based on getting everything out quickly and included rainbow energy to add damage to the bench. Um, I made a deck for both Heracross and Donphan. Uh, don't ask why I'm using <laughs> cross energy in the Donphan deck. It wasn't meant to attack, it was just a test. Leading on to my point there, that these are not meant to be good decks, obviously. They're designed to test the bug. So, yeah. Now, I did want to take a quick moment to showcase Donphan. Um, when I was playing this game, I knew it was working with Heracross, and I thought, okay, considering that we originally realized this issue with Donphan when I was playing against Mark, I thought, why not throw Donphan and try it out myself to see if it's actually the case? Um, and again, I was under the impression that the damage on the bench would be what activated it, so... Um, I put damage on the fan P and I kind of realized as well midway from playing this I was like hang on if I'm putting rainbow energy and attaching it to a Dawn fan Aren't I negating its ability? So I didn't realize that at the time, but regardless, we had it here. Um, and I just wanted to see if it did work with Dawn fan as well as Heracross And if it did it could be 
even more explo exploitable, unfortunately, um, considering that you don't need to flip a coin and hit heads for it. It can be guaranteed so long as your Don Fan is one shot and has full HP, um, which is quite easier to work around with things like max potions. But before we did get into that semantics, I just wanted to show you here, it does also work with the Don Fan. And um, it leaves the Tapu Koko at 160 HP. And um, when, let's say, if I had a shrine in, pay, uh, shrine in play, sorry, the Coco would go down. So you're kind of seeing how this is now something that could be exploited. So as you can see there, Coco goes straight to 160. It's just crazy. Um, this shouldn't be happening, not at all, but it is, and it's a problem. And I'm about to show you um, in a second, actually, how it can be exploited and how devastating it could actually be. So upon discovering the bug, um, I thought, hmm, there's a potential for a one-hit KO combo here, um, technically speaking. Um, and let me briefly explain. If you had a poison barb on the Pokemon or a shrine in play for GX and DX Pokemon, if your opponent had them in play, um, every time a Don fan was one shot with full HP, the opponent's Pokemon will go down, period. As long as you had a poison barb in play or for GX EX Shrine of Punishment. So think of like the new B drill. It's basically that, but when they attack. Um, this also works with Heracross, but of course it's less consistent because you need to hit heads on the coin flip. Of course. Um, but yeah, with, with figuring that out, um, I decided to see if this bug is something that can be exploited, uh, which I want to make clear. You should not exploit this bug. It is within the game in an unfair manner. It's only going to ruin the experience of people playing the game. So don't do it. It's just not a good thing. It's cheap. Um, and I only did it just to see if this is something that can be done um, and to help us better understand how serious the uh, bug is or potentially could be at that time. Um, but with that said, I built a deck that is not particularly for testing, but rather designed to use this exploit and designed to try and win. So I added poison barbs and shrines to see if this can be used. And unfortunately, it can. So I wanted to start off by showing you the Heracross and uh, showing you how it has come into effect here. So you can pretty much see it already by just looking at the screen, how things are about to unfold. Now, I just want to make one thing clear. The deck that I'm using in this clip isn't actually the deck I showed you just a second ago. I started to realize that the survivors were kind of pointless uh, because, well, if we hit the combo, then it doesn't matter how much poison they take. They only need to take 10 damage. So I, remo I removed the survivors, but um, this is the clip I've got and I wanted to show you. And um, I just want to show you how it can be used up in this way and explain to you why it's a bad thing. So here does Shadow Impact. I do end up flipping the heads with the um, Heracross. And then bang, you can see it there, it goes down to 120 HP, poison is activated. It will now be knocked, uh, KO'd, sorry, before I've even reached my turn on their attack. So it's very, very, very unfair. And it, it kind of felt horrible just doing that. Um, you'll see in a second, I dropped my sad face. I was like, man, that's just really... That's just not right. <laughs> That's not how it's meant to happen. And they probably was like, wait, hang on. How did that happen? Um, and it even got to the extent here where I was able to go for a Guzma switch play and take out the Jirachi as well. So in one turn, I was able to take two prizes whilst only attacking once because of this exploit. So I was able to take an extra prize in that turn just because of the exploit. And if you're able to take an extra prize or get an extra advantage in the game from a bug, it is a bad bug. It should definitely be patched out. So hopefully with this clip showing you how it can be exploited in one way, it can be addressed. But that's not it. Tag Team GXs. I'm pretty sure this is on your mind. Yes, this can be used against Tag Team GXs, no matter how high the HP. As long as they KO the Don Fan, they will go down. And you're about to see it happen here. Now, with this one... Because it's Venusaur, they did not actually need to go for their main attack. They, all they needed to do, really, was go for their first attack and they'll get the KO with the Poison and the Burn. But this is another reason why it's a problem. With them not knowing or having the knowledge of the exploit, they didn't know that by just one hit KOing it, that the effect would have a massive impact on them. Now, obviously, they should have known that I would have survived with 10 HP if they went with the second attack rather than the first attack. So it was a misplay in that regard. Uh, but they did go at me with their main attack. I think it's Solar Beam. I think that's correct. I think that's correct. <laughs> Don't quote me. Um, they'll probably announce it on the screen in a second. Yeah, Solar Beam. It KOs it. And uh, unfortunately, in a turn where I didn't even attack, I'm going to be taking three prize cards. Again, it's just insane. So they've gone and taken two from my Dom fans, and I've caught up without even laying an attack down by three prizes. It is just 
it's just a little bit too much. That's what I'm going to say. So, um, yeah, so you've seen it have, uh, have, it have its effect on tag teams. You've seen how it's had its effect on other cards as well. Now, this is not like crazy game breaking in a sense where you can play every game and you're guaranteed to win every single time um, because you do need to hit a combo. You do need to achieve some things like in this one, you have to have full HP. They have to one shot you. Those things need to be done. Um, but you could see here, even in this game right now, it's just one turn and that's all it takes to devastate their board state to just ruin the whole, effectively the whole pace of the game um, in an unfair way. That is a problem. Um, so I think this is something that should be looked at. I hope Pokemon uh, or the dev, should I say, takes a look at this and finds a way to ban it. And I just want to really stress, please don't use this exploit. One, there's a lot of times where it's not going to work. Um, I'm primarily just tried showing it off and I tried it out quite a lot and um, I didn't actually win many games doing it. So this is why I'm, I'm questioning to myself, is it something game breaking or is it just exploitable that can effectively change a game in an unfair way? Um, either way, that's down to the semantics and the definition of, of what we classify as game breaking, right? Um, but yeah, with that said, just don't do it. It's, it's, there's no reason to do it. It ruins the fun sometimes. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not a good idea. But regardless, Pokemon, please fix.